Now to use this to solve something, notice which side did they give us? They gave us the hypotenuse. The thing you always want to do is find the 30 degree one first because it's the easiest one to find and it's the smallest. It requires less math. Always find the 30 first. If they give us the 30 degree one first, it's even easier. What do I know about the 30 degree one compared to the big one? Well, the big one's twice as big as the small one. So if this is 14, what's it make this one right here? Well, 14 divided by 2 is 7, right? And if this side is 7, the 60 degree side is always this, this number, whatever is here, multiply it by square root of 3. So the answer is 7 square roots of 3. Doesn't matter. That's all that it is. Okay? So now let's try this one here. This one's easier because guess what they gave us first? If this is 60, that's 90, that makes this one what? 30. So this is the smallest side. So if this is the smallest side, what do you know about the hypotenuse? It has to be double it very easily. And what do I know about this side? Whatever is here, whatever the small one is, multiply it by square root of 3. And its answer is 2 square roots of 3.